that. And he's a big, strong guy and got, you know, tons of turn, but really no speed. So, you know, he makes this monstrous turn, but it doesn't really relate into speed out of the distal end of the golf club. We did some work on some technique. You know, I got the hand a little higher. I'll show you the after swing here in just a moment. Um, here's the after swing. Let's find it. So, just kind of looking at technique. Changes, narrowed up his stance just a fraction. Sorted out his right hand hold a little bit. Um, tried to give him a little, we, we kind of explained some structure, and he's got some pivot issues. Gets a little ahead of it naturally. And so he's hitting this one, and that was his last swing of his day. He's really, really pleased with because this swing was 81 or so miles an hour, and this is after he'd warmed up with a 9 iron. And this swing was this one, this, eight, this 90. 1.8 mile an hour, so massive change from his 79.7, 86.5, 81.1, 91.8. You see this beauty, this 99.8 right here, which blew his mind. Now, the shot he hit was, when you look at the screen, the one blinking out there, he flew 206, went 232, and he said, like, these numbers aren't great, but they're not bad. He's sitting down on it, and yeah, he gets ahead of it, and he can work on some access tools, etc. But, look where this ball flew. If he could hit a 232, he said he'd be tickled. Well, what we did was we ran him through the protocol. Here he is with the lightest clubs, and he's you know, making nice, aggressive, speedy swings here. Down the line, face on, and I'll just kind of move forward into some of the different weights. You know, he's graduating up the weight platform, and then finally, you know, he works into the step swings over here. There's the left hand, and this one looks kind of funky. He's giggling because he feels pretty spastic making these swings the other way. Program. And now we're finally at the final three swings right-handed, just full blast. And you can see how nice these look. Very clean, and he's kind of wondering what's going on, making a second to three final swings. Nice and aggressive, ramping things up. And, you know, a te technically, let's take a look at some, some neat things. So if I come back to his driver's swing before we started coaching him, you know, you're going to see you know, he had low speed and he had high spin because his club's kind of hitting the ball with too much loft. You can see the breakdown he's presenting here, a little too much cuppiness of that lead hand, adding loft at the bottom. Now as he's working with super speed golf, you know, he's got this condition where the club is lining up differently at the bottom overtaking nicely. You can see the difference there, pulling him up to a finish, and this is what this led to. So we did the whole program, and this was his first driver after doing the program. Now it's a little overturned. He's got to work on some behaviors with his hands and everything, but the club is coming down. You can see it's not going to have as much loft of impact. He strikes the ball, and he, he just hit it. But take a look at this next, where this went with uh, TrackMan. This swing was this one right here. Now, it was mishit enough, but check out the club speed. Went to 99.8. Sure, he mishit it and had massive spin. Who knows where he hit it on the face. But the point was, the speed of this compared to this early one, this is the most significant increase in speed I've seen with anybody. He, in, in, in six minutes. I mean, he basically taught his body from this wave, and this is what he brought to me, to this one. You can see how much significant speed happened there. And that is the amazing thing about super speed. The ability for somebody to just make swings, just make swings with when not touching the ground. George Newton, my mentor, taught us as kids, you know, not to touch the ground. So with that fella here, he was working on his speed with the club off the ground, and it led for so much better math down at the bottom. The right overtaking club head and arm, in this case, super speed training product, as it lines up there with that lead arm and overtakes and collects the ball and pulls the golfer up into a finish, I mean, that was the most speed, it's, you know, from, he had a, uh, an 81, a 70, an 86, a 79. That was his driver's speed after warming up. Then after the protocol, it bumped up to 99. It blew him away. 
And yeah, he mishit the shot, but then his final shot of the lesson, you know, a cruising 91.8 miles an hour, whatever it was, he had a 230 yard ball. You know, that's pretty amazing change, you know, with a, with a little bit of coaching and some speed awakening, you know, through the help of a super speed golf. So a little testimonial video put together, a great product for so many reasons and uh, speed being obviously the, the main one, but tons of benefit in other areas.